What's up guys? Welcome to your 136 Android tutorial for the new Boston. We're still going to be working with our Google Maps activity. Um, what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to relate to where we touch on the screen and create a geo point out of that location. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a couple ends up here called X and Y. Alright, so basically this is going to be our X position and our Y position on our overlay when we touch the screen. And now we're going to create a geo point out of those locations, but first we have to relate uh, these points to our touch method. So let's go down to our touchy class um, that extends the overlay. And when we hit the motion event down, that's when we're going to set up our variables. And so what we're going to do is we're going to say X is equal to, and then just our event, which we called E dot get X. And that's going to return a float, but uh, we'll get to that in a second. Also, y is going to be e.gety. And uh, both those are returning floats. And again, this is an integer, so we're just going to cast in as an integer where we're going to be like, hey, uh, you're going to make this work. Don't tell anybody, and we're cool. Um, so there we go. We have our both x and y based off our, based off our touch event. Um, now what we're going to do is create a geo point based off of this X and Y location because again this is just kind of where it is and now we need to relate that to the longitude and latitude which the geo point um, you know which we use to build the geo point so how we do that is we're gonna create a geo point and we're gonna call this touched point something like that we're gonna set this equal to our map view then we're going to say dot get projections or get projection and basically what's doing is it's relating our touch event of our overlay to our actual map activity or actual map according to how far it's zoomed in how we're like scaling and all that stuff so we're actually uh, getting the projection of our map and then what we're going to say is from pixels because again we're working with the pixels and this is going to be our x and this is going to be and this is going to be your Y. So now we have a geo point that's related to our touch where we touch on our, our screen. A pretty simple uh, concept. Um, again, we're, all we're doing with this projection is relating our map to our actual touch on our overlay. So now what we can do is we can set up something called a geocoder and we're going to do that within this get address uh, button because we're going to basically display the address. So we're going to set up a geocoder and also we might want to um, set this touch point uh, before we actually get into the geocoder down here we need to set this touch point up so or this geo point I should say so our whole class can use it so I'm just going to copy that and then uh, delete uh, the type there and paste it above as well so now we can use our geo or touch touch point within some of these other methods and now we're going to set up something called a geocoder that's going to allow us to kind of access the address and all that good stuff. So we're going to say geocoder and we're just going to call it geocode coder or something like that. We're going to set this equal to new geocoder. And within the parameters, uh, we're going to say git uh, base context. That's going to return the context of the base class. And then we're going to say uh, locale dot get default and uh, we have to import both locale and uh, our geocoder which I've already done and now we've set up our geocoder um, and what we can do now is within a try bracket we can try and access the address and all that good stuff so what we're gonna say is try and then um, within the try brackets and that's probably all we have time for in this tutorial but again just to quickly talk over some stuff um, this geocoder, what that's going to allow us to do is basically refer to some map data and give us some more information about, you know, specifically our location, like what street we're on, what uh, what the address is. Um, so that's what we need the geocoder for. And the next tutorial, we'll kind of set up it, what we're going to do within this try bracket. We'll also also add a catch clause um, and get everything going. But again, uh, that's what the geocoder is, and we also set up a, basically a a geo point according to the map, how far we're scaled in, and uh, where we touched on the map. So that's pretty much it for this po this tutorial, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Um, have a good one. Peace.